Shall we begin? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of Finding and Taming Your Beast at uh, Dark and Light. I think the most difficult part was is how to find a good music for the game. However, so it is like uh, Ark, and you know how uh, if, if you played Ark before, you know how this works. So, what we need is a couple of things to prepare before you go and tame your beasts and be happy. Make sure you're level 10 or 8 or plus, and you have the right perk open for you so you can hunt your first animal. So, in this attempt, what we did is we tried to capture a goose uh, at the first attempt. First, you need to prepare those arrows to hunt the beast you want to hunt, whatever it is. And in our case, it's a goose, so you don't mind it. It's, it's the regular survival games job. Just you need some wood, some ropes, some items, and start creating your item. Then go ahead for it. If you don't know how to farm, you need to look into it. A video that tells you how to farm or you can ask me down below in the comments and I can leave for you a video for or actually I not leave I can make I can make a video for you how to farm what things to expect so you want to shoot arrows at your goose it's very simple actually you make an an, a, an arrow with a rope okay and all you're gonna do is just keep hitting it with the rope so here we had a, a difficult time finding a good Goose, we found the one who's level 4 that we wanted to try on first. So, this was actually our first attempt to tame a beast. So, that's very simple. You hit him a couple of times, easy peasy. You just pin him down to the ground. Once that's done, actually, you're not finished. So, what you need to do is uh, to keep him pinned down to the ground. So, you will find a couple of bars, and the last one will tell you when you need to pin him back down to the ground the process itself takes some time so it will take some time you prepare for him the food you prepare for him everything and every animal got its own liking of food so it's not necessary if you have this one uh, set as to grass we, we just decided to give him a grass so my friend asked me what should we give him i told him it's a goose just give him a grass so actually it worked actually so we didn't didn't have to give a goose a meat or beef i think which we shouldn't actually that's not not logical anyways <laughs> so his wildness will go down his taming will start you just give him tons of food and he will eat just less of it that's it that, that's all about it. and after that the process of waiting and waiting if you have played arc you'll know what waiting is sometimes you can just wait for hours but the system is a little bit different from arc since uh, in arc you need to give him a or seduce him actually with a drug or something you don't need to make drugs here as far as now i think i don't know later on the, the process how it will be so uh i was trying to get grass so a general idea about the game if you chop the trees with your hand you will get different items if you chop them with the harvest or whatever it is the reapers i could i just love to call it reapers weapon it, it seems more legit for me so what you need to do is not what you need to do what we will do is if you chop down a tree with your axe okay you're gonna get some wood if you chop your tree with your pickaxe you're going to get mainly ropes if you chop your tree with whatever else i haven't tried but maybe you get something else so the same goes with all trees so if you need a certain resource make sure to to chop it with different things so you can discover what these things actually give you so for my for our case when we need a stone for our arrows we actually uh, knock down the rocks with an axe with a hatchet uh, if you know the terms you should play rust or whatever survival games you will know the system so as i said before just keep it pinned down the simple is uh, that that simple no that's actually the process yeah the process itself is very simple all you need to do is just keep it pinned down give him some food keep him happy and beast will be tamed for you that's it I do hate the waiting process, so I had just to speed it up. So it took much more time than whatever you see now on the screen. So just wait and wait and wait. Doesn't that kill you sometimes? Will you have to wait? And argue how to wait two hours for a, a dragon to be seduced? So you have to wait two hours for whatever? Nah. So 
the next attempt we tried actually the thing is yeah and here uh, to 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 actually ride your goose you need a saddle and we don't have the rank to saddle so we, we couldn't ride him actually we just he just kept following us for nothing and he died eventually and you will see how he died actually and 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 it was very horrible death the same goes for the sheep actually he needs much less arrows whatever i, I pent him with two three arrows and he stayed there for some good time and I, give, I gave him some berries some they would they would eat different things so for uh for a sheep he ate uh a grass and the berries and whatever see now um, what I'm doing I'm gathering with my hands so I want some fresh grass I want some berries I want some you will get all different things of a mushroom except a mushroom I guess you would get berries from a mushroom grass from a mushroom but maybe flowers from a mushroom but you actually would not get a mushroom from a mushroom so that's it <laughs> that's a different thing actually so here and we go Again, the waiting process, which I say, uh, actually I hate a lot. Wait and wait and wait. And wait. I hate waiting. If you hate waiting, just leave it down in the, the comments down below. I want to hear you guys. If you hate waiting, taming a beast in these games because they take tons and tons of time and you just keep waiting. Actually, that was not much of a time for a sheep. It was like a three to four minutes, I guess. The total hunting time. We haven't done much with the sheep. We haven't done a farm anything. We're still new to the game. It's actually this is like was our first day we were trying to level up and hunt a few things. And eventually after hunting our good sheep, we went back to the house and we found a panther there and the panther actually has kicked our sheep's butts and actually our butts as well. So excuse me for the words, but actually that's what happened. So. He ended up killing everything we have hunted, our two sheep and our goose. Actually, we didn't have any place for it, so it's fine, it's fine, it's just fine. We didn't have place in our house. We're we, we barely living in a small house. Why would you bring uh, animals to live with you? So it's just, it's just reminds me, I was just telling my friend in that moment, we... Hey man, do you remember Ace Ventura? He said, yes, I remember. And this was our apartment of the other. So. Next what we did is we tried just to hunt a hyena we prepared like 40 arrows, 40, no around 50 arrows actually and we started pinning down the hyena we said yeah okay this is easy level 8 hyena we gonna pin him down and we gonna get him so actually that did not work obviously I think different animals different require different loads of fork so what happened here we couldn't tame him with like tons of arrows you will see now this like, like tons of arrows literally we just keep kept shooting 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 and he, he wouldn't get tired or exhausted he will not be pinned down to the ground well actually he did slow down he was slow at some point he was so slow at some point but uh, I think if you are a low level it's a bad idea just to hunt hyena I think eventually we meet we might need a drug or something just like an art so you have been survival games to compare them to each other and discover things how they work they work nicely some of them some of them just uh, totally different but what I like about this game is like you have actually a skills here you can make fireballs and so on if you have played the game uh, actually I think you already playing the game if you want to know how to tame a beast or a sheep so for a hyena we did not prepare any food so we didn't know we had some meat actually spare at our bags and these things but we couldn't pin him down to the ground so that was a different issue totally so in the end what what we ended up doing is killing the hyena actually that wasn't the happy part but but we killed him that all we could because our 50 arrows I think they were 50 actually ran out we didn't have any more arrows and the arrows were just uh, going away so what happens here if you if you pin him down to the ground and he gives enough force he will run away from your uh, arrows so uh, always kite him around like also with the boars with the pigs we haven't we haven't done one yet we couldn't find one so uh, because we have a saddle actually for the pork uh, the pork not the pork because the meat itself so for the boar pig 
at the pig instead of piggy. So if you want to find the pig, uh, it will work the same way, but the pig would charge. So what you want to do is kite him around your where you're pinning him at the ground. This is all you need to do. Just pin him wherever you pin him. Just keep him there. Kite him there. Because see, what happens now? Watch that carefully. See, if he goes away really far away, he would tear that rope. So you have a like some strength limit to that rope. I don't know if in the future we could we can actually find uh, stronger ropes or strong. Actually, there is actually wait, wait. I just remember there is a metal something arrow, whatever it's called. Uh, you know these things. They just call them whatever some weird name to look awesome. So we ended up killing our hyena. That was a waste. We our, our sheep, our goats, they are all died in vain. We didn't even take their meat to cook it at least. See now my friend was cutting him away. Watch how he's tearing down those ropes. We are low HP, so we are pretty bad at this game. Well, actually, at least I am pretty bad. So, so this is what you want to know about the game. If that's what you want to know. If this information helped you actually in getting and taming a beast, leave a comment down below in the subscription. In the subscription, no, in the comments, in the comments section down. Leave a comment uh, if you like it. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, please. And if you want to see more content about what's happening in Dark and Light or any other games, because pretty much you're playing uh, tons of games, you just please leave a comment down there, and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode.